That's good. Yep. Just let me sort of control it. Yeah. Good. For amputees, sockets are a critical part of any prosthesis, supporting their weight and movement. But they often have to be modified or remade several times if the initial fit isn't right and to adapt to the changing shape of the patient's limb, says physiatrist Dr. Amanda Mayo. It's a multi-step process, each one taking about eight hours to complete by hand. So prosthetics is made very manually, like we take manual casts and the prosthetists and the technicians have to do a lot of fabrication, so it takes a long time. And we're just trying to see if we can make things more efficiently for patients and um, use 3D printing sort of in the prosthetic space. That's led to Sunnybrook trialing this, having a 3D printer do the work, creating a digital model of the patient's leg from a computerized scan using a handheld tablet. Sean Fitzpatrick became an amputee following a motorcycle collision last year. He says the traditional manual casting method has its drawbacks. It's a whole week before you get it and a whole week might not seem much but for somebody that's learned how to walk and everything yeah, it's pretty significant. He says it would be great for patients to have another option. So I hope 3D printing wants to scan your whole leg, that's your leg and hope that slides on and it fits like a glove. Dr. Mayo says there are a lot of people who are building prosthetics, but Sunnybrook is the first to study how safe, effective and patient-friendly 3D printing is. For now, the focus is on testing the technology on patients with lower extremity limb loss. If successful, it could offer prosthetists one more tool to work with and skills around what could very well be the technology shaping the future of their field. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis. And so I think it's just do that. Yeah. Okay.